Hello everyone, BSP here. Hope you're doing great today. Today I'm going to show you my gold fine barb I use for gambling and I do find some good stuff with it every now and then. But I wanted to show you what I have now. I don't have the best in slot gear, it's getting close. But there's still a lot of work to be done. I've got a grief. It's a mid roll on grief. Got an enigma. I don't really use it yet because I'm just doing travancore. So I just got it mostly for the strength and the damage taken goes to mana. I got a six socketed phase blade with limbs. I've got a I found a Mara's while I was doing travancore. What I really want here is a two to all skills, all resistances, and gold fine amulet, but I haven't found one yet. I haven't shopped one yet. Got an Immortal Kings with a cham and a limb in it, for it cannot be frozen. Got gold wrap for obvious reasons. Got Nagel, Nagel. It's a low nade. You'll need a better ring. I need to get another dwarf star, but I haven't gotten one yet, so I can get more gold. I've got chance guards. That's another 200%. Inferno strides for the fire resistance and maximum fire resistance because I'm dealing with travical and it gives me 48% gold. These are just a basic war cry charms I need to get some war cry and gold but those are really expensive I've got a Geeds with it's only 86 gold I think it's a hundred and something is the max for gold I've got a basic torch a 1115 torch where max is 2020 I found me a good Annie on a um when I was killing the D clone I've got So other ones here, I killed a lot of D-clones whenever they had a, a lot of them spawning, but that's the best one I could find. And just some, just attack rating on this one, and I found this little neat one. It's not great, it's not max life or max mana, but I figured I'd just keep it. And on swap, I have two weapons that are three to war cries. But yeah, that's what I got so far. I need to get a better ring for this. I need a I need to up get a I want to get a better gold wrap so I can up it so I can get more slots for my potions. I need a better amulet. Ideally on the you know, this here what you want is two heart of the oaks. But I don't have that right now. I got my runes on my other character. I've got like, let's see, I don't have anything here. Found this yesterday. Found a flame rift, really high percentage, so it's not really good. Found blood moon, outdoors. See anything else interesting I found recently? Um, Yusigans. Star by I found Tal's weapon, a 29 cold res, which is nice for just low levels to get your resistance up. Found the Immortal King's belt. Got a Tal's mask that can go over here with the weapon. Let's see, I've been found a Mavina. I think I got her bow somewhere. I might do a build with full Mavina set. Found Peasant Crown, Mage Fist, Sandstorm Treks are not ethereal so they're not worth a lot. But most of what I've been doing it for is just the gold. And let me show you a run. And we're in Hell Difficulty on Ladder. So Go to Travancore, switch over to your 
weapons that have two war cries and one, two, three. Switch back over and run in. I've thought about shifting to Whirlwind to get faster kills because I can't life leech with Berserk. And I have to drink potions continuously with this build. But I thought about going to Whirlwind or Frenzy so I could actually life leech. You see my life drop down because I can't life leech. Oop, didn't mean to go down there. Alright, one left. And then go through and find item on the bodies. Getting about 30,000 per body. Anything worth looking at? Look at the rings, because if you can get a dual MF ring, you can get up to, what is it, 45 or something like that? Or 50? It's nothing really that might be. Pyrrhon Javelin, Mancatcher, that's Isn't Hearts. Let me shift over to inventory and check to see if any of these are ethereal. If they are, I'll pick them up. Because they might be really good if they get the cruel mod and their ethereal. Cross shield. I might as well look at that. Junk. And the amount of identify potion, identify scrolls. Okay, anything else want to pick up? I am overburdened. Drop you there. Uh, man catcher. Guess I can look at that. And. That's it. We got 447,000 gold from that one run. Not counting what we're going to sell. So let's go over here and identify everything. And see if we got anything decent. Uh, just blight. It's not cruel or anything. No. No. Okay, let's go look at this. No resistances. Five men, five max. It's a neat little ring. If it was lower level, it'd be worth something. But nope. Let's see, sell, sell. So we hit the five hundred thousand. And that was just one run. We hit max tab there, so we start with the next. And what I usually do when I hit max cash is I drop these off. Now I just run over here and do some gambling been looking for a better amulet. I mean, Amara's is great and all, but I want something with two, two, but that, 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 two lost skills, 30 or 40 to all resistances, and then gold. So, what do I want to do this time? Let's just do some amulets. Even with only one tab full, you can buy a lot of amulets. And 
go through and if you see anything that's worth keeping Let's see 34 that's almost a max roll on luck 35 is max luck so you I don't know if amulets can get dual luck dual magic fine and their rings can it's almost 35 let's see 3 to shadow disciplines 90 that might be worth something for a buff amulet that actually might be worth something one to barbarian skills no no two to passive magic no one to druid lightning skills one to sorceress and fortune let's finish it off I'll stop and whenever I find something interesting it's a two to traps Really looking for a three to traps for my traps and 54 gold, but nothing else on it. That'd be nice with a two to skills and resistances with that much gold found on it. Max is 80, I believe. All right. That's it. We got a good bit of amulets just from I don't know how many runs I had done before, but yeah, that's what I do with this character. Is sometimes I find good stuff, sometimes I don't, but it's mostly just for the gold. And again, I'm on running base gear. It's some good stuff like your Enigma and your Grief, but everything else is pretty easy to come by cham room might be hard to get Mara's just got lucky and found that and everything else is pretty basic even I me mean, this I shop these in act 5 that's where I got those from and IK Helm's pretty cheap the armor is what's expensive IK armor I have another burr so I might I'm saving that trying to trade it for something else I'll need later and let's see that's about it all I need to do right now is try to find some good charms because charms are really expensive right now I mean you're looking at I think, I think it's like a burr per one war cry with any amount of gold find on it it's about a burr each so that's really expensive so I'll have to wait till I find something worth trading to make some money make some collateral or whatever to trade for some more but that's my gold find bar and I hope y'all enjoyed I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye. Hey, this is after the video. And I noticed I had forgot to show y'all the... Let's see. How much gold I'm actually getting. I'm at 1,049 gold from monsters. And 223 better magic fine. 
my resistances are all right they work but I need to get higher resistances need to get some all rest small charms other than that that's all that's really important other than the fire absorb because I'm undoing the traveling cool but yeah that's what I got here is 1049 and 233 magic fine alright see you later